After taking Umba, the Corsairs that survived fled to Global Mirlon. I dispatched Gimothon, my grandson, to deal with the problem. It fell after a fierce fight. Now my full weight and attention can be brought to bear on the Radrum. A group of lackeys, desert savages. They will all pay the ultimate price. The deceiver is true. Undo his damage one way or another. I dispatched Gimothon and a strong force to take their capital fight there, no matter the cost. Hello, guys, this is Warrior here, and we are back with another RR9 Let's Play episode. So, in the last one, we seized the settlement of Esestalia, or Esitalia, and now we are besieging Emon Run. We fought a battle here against a small you. force of added um, Haradrim that was blocking our path. Now we are besieging I will not waste this words on you. settlement. It does have a um, not a very stout force, but a force that could give us some yes, trouble. Lord. I'm wanting to wait until I can get these troops up. Dol Amroth sees this settlement, which is forcing Harad out, and uh, and they probably already have that settlement too. So they're pulling back to try and, well, essentially counterattack me. I have Orders. an army moving My up Lord. the coast to get on this Ships ship ready. and then go down and use our super highway that we have going on to attack. Now here, Your orders, I thought about sallying out against him. Oh, and they do pull back. Alright, so what does he have? The faction leader and the faction heir are all in one unit. Ooh. That might be worth... How far can they get? They could get probably here. It is Rhodes. We need to try and kill this because they are, I think, a Teutonic faction. So if I kill their faction leader and faction heir in the same episode... Or not episode, same battle, we should be able to kill them. So that would be a, uh, a decisive blow. It would cause all this to go rebel, and then I could start moving in against it. So that's something I need to take advantage of. Okay, uh, but first, um, I could. I do have the movement range. I could do it. Take the bulk of my troops. Yes, my lord. Orders. And go Orders. after them. To here. Your orders, my lord. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. There's no reinforcements. Swap that on low. Ships okay, ready. There. Yes, my lord. I think I gotta risk it. We shall right. engage. Uh, saying two to one odds. Yeah, because mostly it's just their cavalry. Right. Muster your courage, men! We, can we bring march them down. into battle! We have two anti cavalry forces, plus uh, a large number of crossbows, and some archers, and some um, uh, quick strike infantry. So this should be pretty decent. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. So, how this is going to work um, something that happened, and I'll actually have it in a little intro video uh well actually i won't do that i'll just cover it here the beginning of this video um me and my wife had our first child we are ready to uh, this past week whenever you're seeing this tuesday we have had the child for about five days six days since she was born and so for at least the next little bit until she gets on a sleep schedule the recordings will be as thus i'm gonna sit down for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes when i record for the two episodes I'm gonna record for that long. I'm gonna split it roughly in half, the two, and I'll have like a point where I'll be like, okay, that's about 35, 30, 35 minutes. Bam, done. Roll on to the next episode, and that'll probably be for the next couple of weeks. All right. Um, you do that. Shift one. You there? You two in a group. Shift one. Warriors. You stay right there. So what are they gonna do? Marines of the Warriors of the Sea. Smart will just run. Uh, these halberdiers are gonna be the best thing I have against them. Um 
So they got cavalry on each flank and archers in the center. If they want to skirmish with me, that's fine. We are ready to strike. Oh, and halberdiers actually have a faster walking animation. I did not know that until I was watching the uh, the um, um, watching the mod or the former head mod creator of uh, Dak. Um, Gallo, and he um, <clears throat> he talked about how uh, uh, how pikes and halberdiers just have naturally have a faster walking animation in this mod. Um, I am enjoying Mother series um, as always, and I'm enjoying this one as well. It's uh, pretty fun, actually, a lot funner than what I thought it was going to be, especially the neutral stance that I'm taking. I quite enjoyed this, and I wonder if there's other factions that I could do that with. Okay. Halberdiers, you're going to go this direction with the archers. You're going to be in the center. <clears throat> Spearmen. Why would you charge into halberdiers? Get them. Ooh, that did a lot. A lot more than what I thought it would do. Get them. Warriors. We are ready to strike. Run. You go get them. You. Turn. You. All y'all fire at them. Throw some more javelins at them. That'll be really good against them. <coughs> What are you doing over here? Uh, doing okay. Right into him, that dropped him a little bit. Fortunately, my guys are not the best melee fighters in the world. That's okay. Go after those archers. How are we doing? We're slowly starting to if grind down this like really this, good cavalry. We will smash the enemy. True, 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 true. Hey, would you throw more javelins at them? Four of them. Down to 52, that's fine. Um, also, if. Uh, so, <clears throat> virtually it won't really change anything on the channel, it just means the videos will be shorter than what you are used to, and, um, and that's just uh, the simple fact that um, we are now taking care of a little warrior. Until she gets on a sleep schedule, it'll probably be this for a little while. I would anticipate that. So, not to reduce in content, same amount of episodes, but just the um, overall um, size of the episodes. And yeah, I don't think it's really gonna hurt the series that much. Of the uh, keep throwing it there. You fire into the back. You fired them. Is he running? Possibly, unless they're gonna try and stand the ground. Oh wait, those are pikes. Get into them. Um, you. Whoa, I didn't mean to. The mouse is uh, misbehaving. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. My pikes have suffered a little bit. Should be almost dead. There we go. That's that really good crossbow damage. Right, get in there, Marines. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've recorded, and so like my uh, reaction skills are a little reduced. I should get them back. Okay. Um, Marines. Is it just the two generals? It is just the two generals. Okay. Archers pull back. Winning over here? Yes. Alright, you form like a screen. Actually, break them. You keep firing, General. Come on, crossbows. 
have a very high accuracy, and you're not proving that today. We need to kill these guys. I can't believe I got this lucky. Come on. Uh, I hate generals. What are we doing over here? We are slowly winning. They're about to be destroyed. Pikes. They are fighting to the death, I see. Where's the other general at? Are they both over here? Can't believe we have the Haradrim horn. <laughs> We're not even Haradrim when Numenorian, but we have the, the Haradrim horn. It's kind of fun. These archers are doing a lot better than what I would have expected. Show us. But I think that's more of a reflection upon that that strike infantry really doesn't have any. at him. There we go. So there goes the faction heir. Now we gotta kill this guy. Here you go. Are they all dead? Well, there's only one of them and he's breaking. That's good. Alright. You two. Fire. Everyone else. Converge. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to be in grouping. Right. We'll charge right into some halberdiers. And he's lies dead. dead. Let the crows Perfect. have his miserable blood. The enemy army flees. This is a clear see victory. Harad wiped off. And I did not notice that at the end of the last recording, at the end of the last episode, that that was indeed going to be the case. Fantastic. That is great news, because that means this war with Harad just ended if they're a Teutonic faction. I do not remember if they are, though. If not, and they're a normal family tree, then it'll have no effect upon them, and they'll have a faction heir. And it'll just roll right on. No. Uh, Glory! Honor! Victory! I would say they are not a Teutonic faction and they have a family Your order, tree. Okay, my lord. that's okay. But I will not waste words on you. does mean that someone in here is now the faction leader. Now, if they do run out of generals, <laughs> they will die from regicide. But you have to kill all of the family off in order to do it. Okay, so we've killed that fools. I will not that fools is... On you. Mm, I shouldn't have to worry about it. Um... And we'll have enough troops up before there are any real threat to us. We're getting more. Yeah, we're, we're training more. We need to get another spy out. That would help with vision. Where's my other spy? Where is he, anyways? There he is. Okay, get over here. Approaching quietly. Keep going east. quietly. I will not waste words on you. Should I risk yes, an Lord. assault? As you come on. Nah, I probably yes. should go one more turn fight him in a field battle. A field battle, I think, would go a lot more in my favor than a streak battle. <clears throat> it would negate their cavalry, but it would allow me to use... Well, I'm just better at maneuvering my troops than the AI is. That's just a common fact. A player should... Unless you're heavily outnumbered or your troops are just so inferior, you should always, if not win a battle, inflict heavy losses upon an enemy force. Uh, regardless, but doesn't always work that way. Alright, Harad, the serpent. We've killed the serpent's head. Now let's see if we can... Hello, puppet. What do you have? Four units of spears, two archers, a cavalry unit. Trollman warriors. These guys are going to be difficult. Rondo mercenaries. And... Oh, no, wrong guy. Everything else is just depleted. Now, these southern war band are actually better than my spearmen. But my halberd is of something to say about that. We outnumber them in the archer department because we have one, 
two. Well, we only have two archers, but that's okay. All their archers is pretty crappy. I think ours is better. Let me see. I want to let me see. Hey, let me. Oh my goodness! It won't let me see. Okay, whatever. I think they we're better. Okay, we should be all right. Attack! Let's get cracking. Also, I hope you like the uh, the music that's been playing in the background. I've been doing that in order to uh, uh, get around the copyright problems that they love to hammer down on you. So that's what I've been doing. <coughs> Loading a custom song that plays in the background. I've been trying to mix it up a little bit. Okay. Um, these men look fantastic. Uh, these spearmen are better than anything they can field. Even the Rondor mercenaries won't stand too much a chance. Alright. You. You're gonna form a main line. Shift one. Get around that point. There we go. Alright. You're gonna be on one flank. Like so. You. The other. With the crossbows. You, since you're not a crossbow unit, you'll be in the center. You two are going to be grouped, like so, and that's fine. Archer sure in the center. And make sure I do that. Yep. Right. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. All right, let's get these guys before they can bring overwhelming numbers to bear upon us. You go here. Let's roll. My spears on the left flank will be. That means run. Uh, how Badia's should shred. And if we overload this left flank, go after them. Before they can bring their reinforcements to bear on us. You go after the lances. You go as well. You flank. And crossbows do the same. We start firing. We're gonna take these two battalions and attack this left flank. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. I'm not anticipating anything thus or differently. Hello? Yeah. Uh, you pull back. You've got entrenched into this, and you don't need to be. Get back. Slaughtered the cavalry, roll up that flank. You go after them. You go down there. They're sending in the Haradrim archers. Go here. Keep moving. I need you to move in this way because you're going to attack the middle here. Or collapse the middle. Like that. You attack there. Pinned in by the pikes and assaulted. Good tidings. Ah, perfect. The enemy general lies dead. Getting into their flank. It's because they had so many troops. And the cavalry, the, the next army with their cavalry is a whole lot uh, more dangerous. The center has broke. It's currently breaking right now. You go after them. They've broken and are fighting to the end. This is their better spears. Even they're not, they don't have the best morale in the world. Right, so they're breaking. Alright. So I'm going to have to leave some. You form a new group, like so. Who are you getting shot by? I don't know. That's okay. You guys move up. Everyone else. Chase these guys off. You keep moving there. You keep moving there. And you keep moving against them. Keep trying to break all of this. We've actually reformed, unfortunately. Go after them. Uh, you archers start firing. You have a rough line going. Looks like it. So now the uh, 
Ruby Deer line. And you're still charging after the archers. Eventually, you will get them. Okay, how's this going? Not too bad. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Unfortunately, they've reformed and attacking my right flank. Alright. Trollman warriors. Go after the spears. Go after them. You go here. You go after the Rondo mercenaries. You go after the Trollman warriors. Pin them. We'll, we'll be able to deal with the Blacksmith Guard. Come over here. A little lag there. Go after those hunters. How are we doing? Show doing us. okay. Shoot those archers. Form into a spear wall and start rolling them up. Only half the enemy force remains. Fire at them. Go after them. What are we doing? Uh, not the best. Exhausted and winded. Moving like a snail. Got a hold of you. How's this going? Uh, it's going okay. Caught the archers, at least. I wish I had some cavalry. That's the only thing I really need that auxiliary barracks for, is for cavalry right now. We continue but like I'll this, get a whole lot better cavalry from the Varags of Khand than I will from uh, the Haradrim. They are slowly chipping away at this halberdier unit, which should hold out long enough. They're retreating. If I was the uh, garrison commander, I would be pulling back into the city with everything I had right now. Because they are about to get overwhelmed. And they're going to be in danger of losing. Yeah, we should do well against those troll and hunters. Better spearmen. These warriors are getting crushed. Go to that blacksmith guard. Okay, chew through those trolling warriors. I think the reason why they're holding out for nearly as long is because they have uh, two hit points. Randall mercenaries. They're gonna be a problem. Azriai Zia warriors. I need you redeployed over the left flank. What are you doing? Oh, you're carving through the archers. You're doing. You're doing okay. How much is left? Yeah, go after them. Spears should be able to handle their spears. We're better, and then there's more of us, so we should be able to handle that. No problem. Alright, go after them. Warriors of the sun. Firing into their flanks. We're holding. That's all we need. The center will eventually break and be ours. Uh, we're actually winning against the Rod and Royal mercenaries. I wouldn't actually have mind having some of those mercenaries because they're actually pretty good mercenaries. Have we shattered that, yes. Uh, go get them. Uh, go get them. That should see this blob go in our favor. That means you two can go there. You are being stubborn over here, aren't you? We wait right, we'll go back and go get them. Get the the enemy are stats. badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. On the pike wall, you're coming in to help. We've lost about 50% of our troops, but. We will seize their next capital. Essentially, is the goal. Alright. Okay. We're being annoying right now. Alright, let's speed this up a little. I think we can. Alright. 
go in there, that's fine. That's perfect. Okay, the so how are you doing? Them. Come on. Pursue and run them down. Alright, you flare this way. Only half our force remains. Yes, half of our force remains, but half they only have like 20% of their force. Come on, kill those damn troll hunters. Warriors of the Warriors of the Not much. Get around and get them. If you kill off all the family members, they die, right? If I remember correctly. Family members and generals. They die off eventually. And then Teutonic factions, the way they can be regicided is if you kill their faction leader and their faction heir in the same turn. The game just can't come up with a new leader. It was supposed to be a remedy for family um, trees getting regicided. However, Show us. Uh, it didn't work simply the fact that they never accounted for the AI loving to stick. Are they retreating? They are. That unit should be retreating as well. It is. Who are you fighting? You're fighting these mercenaries. There's still a little bit left. Let's go in them. The enemy general abandons his men. There's the enemy general. And it's these archers. It's all that's left. Ooh, almost 20 more of my personal bodyguard. That cannot be allowed. Behold how our, our foe is oh, utterly victory. That's what I'm talking about. Where are we at? Perfect. Perfection. So, the uh, all my series will be about 30 minutes in length. The videos that also may attract more people. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But the content will stay the same. It's just the uh, hour-long videos will not be um, a thing. I just don't have time to record multiple hours. Having a no. child changes things. That's cute. That should give us an ammo raw. Ooh. That did it. So that was the last of their family members. Okay. That we is... shall engage. Alright, so what do they have? Um not much. But it's for some reason it's telling me bandits. Okay, we'll we'll have to end up fighting that. But that is good news. That is excellent news. Okay. So My Lord. you are gonna continue that way. It also means I have no one to oppose me. That is fantastic. Okay, you. You get going. And you go down here and just see what is there. So that means... Let's see what do we have. Keep going. I think this is all Emerald territory. This should be another settlement, and it is. My Lord. Hmm... Road, one road goes there and stops. That goes to that settlement. There's a road here, so I bet you the settlement's I down here. Go, so go see where it's at. Your orders, my I don't lord. remember. Okay. Um, I was not anticipating ships that, so ready. I literally regicided them all. Fantastic. Yes, sir. Ship, ships okay. ready. You'll land there. We can go no further. Your will, my you lord. got a few turns. As you can I get through? Ready. No. Condor, would you please? Why are you move. Me? I need you to move is the problem, and you're not wanting to move, and it's irritating me. Okay, go to normal taxes. Alright, so, this is where I'm going to end this episode, and we'll pick back up with the actual seizure of Rod from the Rebels this uh, next episode. So, this has been Warrior here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a nice, quick one. Had two battles, one here one here where we essentially wiped out the entirety of the Haradrim family tree so without further ado this has been Woy here I hope you enjoyed the episode uh, also I probably will not be doing any sneak peeks of my episodes on Instagram um, going 
forward, or I may a little bit, depending on how much time I have. So, without further ado, this has been Warrior here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.